What's up, everybody? It's the man with no name. So, guys, I don't know how to say this. We're on the last offensive. The final push into the fatherland, as it were. We're going to uh, basically keep the same lineup here. It's been working out other than those attacks. But, hey, is what it is. A couple of those attacks are hairy. We have one recon plane and one heavy artillery barrage. And then obviously two mobile uh, artillery tanks. So I think we'll be fine in, as far as like support goes. Our biggest thing is going to be capturing and staying ahead of the enemy on their final defense of the fatherland. Super excited. This is concluding a, another season of Gates of Hell Conquest. I can't tell you how many I've done just playing. Then one day I was like, you know what? I play a lot. Let's just make this into videos. So that's kind of what I did. Um, also, we're going to go ahead and do our absolute best to push into this point. I don't want to get my super pershings yet. My goal is to push into this point and cap it very quickly. Trying to catch as much of this hedgerow on fire as possible. There's a tank. Um. Ah, so close. Oh, we got two tanks. Oh my goodness. Alright, yep. That was a bigger threat. 100%. Uh, I said this was going to be a quick push. As soon as I get my infantry, I guess. We're ready. Enemy armor up ahead. All right, cool. Got the airborne in here. Gonna counter. We're we're gonna try to. Yeah, that's my goal here. I'm ready. Is to uh, get ready into to go, this sir. point as fast as possible. Um. Obviously, I'm taking a little bit of time because I don't want to overstep and miss something. And then, let's go ahead and put him back here too. Down 
Didn't see anything there. Hey now. Easy fella. Yes, sir. He's my tank destroyer, gonna leave him for now. Ready, sir. Push him up. Ready, sir. Always ready. Alrighty. Yes, sir. Wow. That thing's still alive? Let me see here. Well, yeah. You're needed here. Yes, sir. Awaiting orders, sir. Aye, sir. Ready, sir. Ready to go, sir. Here he is. Son of a bitch! Whoops. I'm ready. Enemy tank. Got enemy tanks here. Come on now. There we go. Ready to go, sir. Yes, sir. Armor ready. Okay. Um Gosh dang it, dude. How? Where is this guy at? He's in the bushes, really? Hi, sir. Play bushwookie with me, will ya? <laughs> Where's my medic at? Who's hurt? Ready to roll, sir. Armor ready. Just 
Dude, shoot! What are you doing? Really? They are standing in plain daylight, and you're not going to shoot them. Your stupidity costs you. Oh yeah, I forgot. He's got a bazooka. We've got enemy tanks here. Enemy armor incoming. You throw horrible. You didn't play baseball growing up, did you? Give that man a cigar. Oh my. Alrighty. Ready to go, sir. Hi, sir. Hey, uh, does anyone have a smoke? Ready to roll, sir. Uh. Burn all this. All these hedges, man. We're ready. Any orders, sir? Identify target. That's a cannon. Ah, what automatic rifle? Nice. Super Pershing. I just want to see what's up over here. Give me a little bit of a... Dude. 
There's an MG nest over there. Should have hit him. Oh, I did, but. Ready to go, sir. Did he really die? Wow. Keep going, boys. Okay. Watch out for that artillery. Bombard that.
right here. the deal go get out of here I don't know whose idiot idea it was to throw a smoke right there but us oh man If you don't mind repairing that, I'd appreciate it. Your command, sir? Yes, sir. All right. Um, go, sir? Need to heal that Ready up go, real sir. quick, and then to go, sir. you give him your ammo. Always ready. Then you hop on this tank. I'm ready. Yes, sir. Ready, sir. So yeah, it's just. Uh oh. Ready to roll, sir. Anytime you're done with that, that'd be great, bud. Ready to go, sir. High velocity shell. Must be driving down the road. Right, sir. Understood, sir. Go, let's go. Hey, there he is. Oh yeah, one shot. That's what we're talking about. Let's see if we can move up. Yes, 
Just a smidgen. Okay, uh... Should be able to. Should be about done. My man over here. Nice. Go ahead and reposition him over here. the building. And this reverse is slow. He is done. Nice. 
Now all we're gonna do is... Wipe them all out. How is he not dead? Awaiting order, sir. Should be able to knock him out in just a second. There's a lot on this, what, north side here we need to take out. We'll double, we'll double, uh, send. Uh, yeah, that's what we'll do. We'll do, we'll double here. Actually, go ahead and wield this. Blanked here. That'd be the last thing I want is to lose a tank. Doesn't look like anyone's surviving other than that guy on the far left, which is 50 cal, should be able to take him out. Oh, there's a uh, hedgerow there, I guess. We're gonna cap this point. There's a guy behind us. Uh oh. Go over a little bit. Uh. Oh. High explosive. Here we go. It's right on target. Here we go. Oh, yes. All right. Repair this real quick for me. bit better cover. Yeah, ah, he died. He must be in that house or something. Oh, there he is. Heck yeah, dude. We won. Okay, the last thing I want to do in this is, t oh, we only have high explosives left. Okay, whatever, that's fine. I want to take out this stupid. Thank you. One more shot. I'm not content this till this thing's dead. He's been shooting at my Pershing for the last hour. All right, he's done. And that guy's is a wrap here. We took out all spots, had very minimal deaths. We killed 321 infantry and 29 vehicles in a pretty short amount of time.
They only killed eight infantry, zero vehicles. Uh, yeah. We lost 19 men in total. Zero vehicle losses. 881 combat score. That's a lot of vehicle kills. Let's see here. What was the total damage here? I don't, I'm trying to remember my, all the people. That, I know we lost a few airborne guys. Um, operations. Victory. Day 33. We won. Uh, okay. Let me see here. So, it looks like we lost a, oh, dude, my, uh, Super uh, high tier level eight maxed out H or AT guy, rifle grenade guy survived a long time. So we lost one here, uh, one, two, th three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 13 guys. Oh, f well, I lost the plane. Okay. Cool. Well then, um, guys, that's uh, a little saddening. We're done here on this conquest series. The United States pushed into the fatherland, took out the Wehrmacht, and yeah. We won 33 battles. That's crazy. No losses that time. Um, in closing very quickly, a few in-house things. Um, I enjoy making videos like this. I enjoy uh, the type of game. <clears throat> I enjoy the uh, you know atmosphere. I know that what I'll probably do in the future is I need to upload the Talvisoda campaign, which is the Finnish campaign. I've already beat them all, but anyway, I need to do this Talvisoda, and then I also need to, I guess at some point, upload the Russian campaign as well. So, anyway, that'll be down the road. But it'll happen eventually. With saying that, though, guys, I hope that that Conquest series was a good, you know, little series there. That was my second season there with the Liberation. I've done one other German Conquest series when I first started making videos. Clearly the quality, probably my mic, everything was horrid. But part of me just wanted to delete it. But I'm like, no, I got to remember where I came from. So, anyway, that's why it's up. Um, anyway, I am going to maybe pause the Gates of Hell for just a little bit. It has nothing to do with the game or negative uh, persona against the game. However, I just need a break. I've been playing this hot and heavy since, well, it came out. Well, I've actually been playing this hot and heavy before Liberation. And then Liberation came out. And then I've been just grinding the ever-living crap out of it. I looked the other day. I exceeded 1,700 hours on my Steam account for in-game hours with this game. I've almost got to 2,000 hours in this game alone, which is crazy. That's a lot of time playing this game over the last two years that I've had it. Love this game. Enjoy the heck out of it, but I just need a little pause there is a game that some of my friends have uh convinced me to get it's called hell divers 2 and i will probably be playing that for the next short bit uh just kind of change of pace it's a third person shooter 
kind of like Fortnite, but it's not Battle Royale. It is more of a unique game, I guess. But I'll be playing that. I'll probably play some more Ready or Not. Uh, if everyone saw my video, which was uploaded on the 10th, uh, I was playing with one of my friends. Anyway, um, I will be playing more of that. Also, I believe I enjoy that game. It's pretty fun, especially since it's not early access anymore and it actually came out. I've had that game for two years or so as well. And it's come a long way. So it was definitely a good buy uh, when I bought it when I did early. But guys, I will probably put up a quiz survey. Actually, it should be called quiz for me because I get to see the results. But anyway... Uh, just kind of to see where the direction of the channel. Um, in the survey, I'm not going to put the... Uh, I'm not going to put the uh, Gates of Hell on here. I'm not opposed to playing Gates of Hell at all whatsoever. Again, I love this game. I'll play it again. I'll probably add something else and play like a modern combat mod or something down the road. Or I may play the actual OG... Uh, call to arms, but we'll see. I do enjoy this game. Like I said several times now, the new update, when it comes out, I'll probably switch gears and start playing it a little bit more. Uh, I do also have Hell Let Loose. So I probably have three games right there. I have Fortnite, the new Hell Divers, Ready or Not, and actually four, uh, Hell Let Loose, Hell Divers, Gates, uh, call, call to Arms, and Fortnite, ready, uh, ready or not. So I have four to five games there that will be cycled in and out of this game. So the conquests, conquests will stop for now, but I promise they'll be back. I enjoy this game too much for them not to be. But guys, uh, on a real note, aside from the future direction of the channel, um, I appreciate everyone's likes i value your comments it doesn't really bother me if you're like hey i know a lot of people are very polite they're not just rude about it but they're like hey uh, not to sound mean but you know your mic uh and this is this is past comments on my channel your mic's l getting drowned out by the game or hey you know why aren't you playing fog of war things like that i do not mind um I've only had one instance where someone was like trying to, I, or I perceived it as them talking trash. Um, but it was like, you know, basically it was like, show us how good you really are. Play online. But it wasn't that, it was more aggressive, I guess you should say. And it seemed to me it was more aggressive. And I was like, I replied back professionally and I was just like, well, I'm playing to give an overview of the game so people understand it. I'm not sitting here talking trash on AI maxed out or on easy with no fog of war on. Um, the whole premise of me playing campaign without the um, fog of war on is so that each individual player gets the idea of how the game works without implementing fog of war. Once you get the idea, you can go in and practice it, play it, Watch other people play it, figure out how to do it, and then you can challenge yourself by playing the Fog of War add-in in the game on top of it being on Hardcore. That's your choice. I have beaten this game on Hardcore without um, with Fog of War on. So I've beaten all campaigns now just for proof of just because I'm talking out of my head at this point. I don't want to conquest a uh, single single player here. So here's here's everything. Fog of War was on, which was hard. The new one, Os Front beat it. Talva Soda beat it, and then obviously the new Liberation. But guys, with this in-game overture going on in the background. I really appreciate it. The subscriptions, uh, you guys just, 
you know, subscribe if you feel like it. I'm not going to beg for subscriptions. I'm not going to ask you to subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to do this as authentic as I can. I appreciate the support and everything else that goes into it. I'm trying to make this a genuine, not fantasized or not commercialized um, channel. And I hope that in the future, this channel will be successful and continue to grow and provide content that everyone wants to see. But with saying that, guys, I'll cut it there. I appreciate it. And we'll see you all in the next video, whatever it is. Bye-bye.